Now downloading and watching child pornography is an offence under the protection of children from sexual offences. The POXO Act is what the Supreme Court has ruled today in a landmark judgment on the stringent law to prevent a child abuse. The Supreme Court set aside the Madras High Court order that had ruled that merely downloading and watching child pornography was not an offence under POXO Act. The Supreme Court noted that the High Court had committed a grave error in passing that judgment. So many questions are being raised in regard to that judgment that was passed by the Madras court and in a landmark verdict today, the Supreme Court has in fact gone on to say that watching or downloading pornography, child pornography is going to be considered an offence under POXO Act. And to get more on this, uh, we have uh, with us uh, Bhuvan Ribu, child uh, rights activist, uh, joining us uh, to get us more on this. Uh, uh, thank you so much for speaking to us here on NDTV. Now, setting aside uh, the judgment that was made by the Madras High Court, which held that merely the storage of uh, you know pro uh, pornographic uh, material without any intention to transmit the same was not an offence under the POXO Act. Now, the Supreme Court today has held that the storage of such material without deleting or without reporting the same would also indicate an intention to transmit. So, they are now suggesting that the Parliament to bring an amendment to the POXO Act. Your reaction? Uh, India has once again shown the way globally against a transnational and economic crime. As the petitioner in this case, uh, as the founder of the Just Rights for Children Alliance, I would like to uh, welcome and congratulate uh, the Supreme Court on uh, this path-breaking uh, judgment. Uh, and also, uh, you use the term child pornography, which by uh, now, after the Supreme Court judgment, has been replaced with child exploitative and sexual material, which really increases the ambit of the entire uh, issue uh, from not only being the pornographic material, but any material which is exploitative and abusive to children. It is, ex it is very important for us to understand that when a person is downloading, searching for, and keeping child sexual abuse material and this exploitative material, they are in fact fueling the demand for child rape. They are leading to child rape. They are watching child rape. And that itself uh, is not only condemnable, but now it is a crime. This is a landmark judgment that also paves the way for prevention by putting together the framework for school education, by ensuring that the government responds with the uh, proper legal changes. And it directs all the courts uh, across India to start uh, uh, changing the, uh, uh, this entire narrative. It has shifted the narrative from pornography, which is often considered as a uh, an adult indulgence, it has shifted that narrative to a crime, which is uh, child exploitative and abuse material. So uh, this is uh, uh, a landmark welcome judgment. It is for the first time globally that uh, this has uh, 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 happened and the Supreme Court has uh, laid this framework. Secondly, the Supreme Court has said that any person, any intermediary, whether it is Facebook, Meta, Twitter, uh, Instagram, any other social media company, if they come across any uh, child abuse and exploitative material, they are mandated now in India to report it to Indian authorities immediately. This by itself will be a game changer for the protection of uh, uh, children from uh, uh, online as well as offline abuse. Because at the end of the day, when somebody is actually fueling this demand, some child is being raped. And uh, that... Uh, changes because when you curtail the demand, you are in fact paving the way for uh, the prevention of the crime and the protection of the child. So it is uh, a very welcome judgment. Right. Uh, we also have Kushbu Jain, advocate, uh, joining us uh, on the broadcast. Uh, thank you for speaking with us here on NDTV. Now, the Supreme Court is considering a petition challenging a similar judgment uh, passed by the Kerala High Court as well. And now when we talk about the Madras High Court order, uh, of course, uh, you know, in which what really was said at the time was uh, that uh, merely the storage of child pornographic uh, content without any intention to transmit the same was not an offence under the POXO Act. That's something that the Supreme Court today has has uh, gone on to say that this is indicative of the intention to transmit. 
Absolutely. See, it's it's a it's an it's an uh, it's an a welcome move by the by the court by the Supreme Court because when you're keeping certain certain uh, uh, material in your phone, that can be either to watch or to share. And when you talk about material which is child sexually exploitative abuse material or a CSAM material for that matter, yeah. these are very sensitive issues. These are very sensitive content, and if you keep that material. That itself, and if you're not reporting, that itself is one of the big things, big crime that is happening. Because see, one has to understand. I'm going away from from the uh, from the uh, 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 the court language and saying that there is a demand and supply that understands more the demand, more the supply. So when we talk about such kinds of things happening, that means there is a demand. There would be demand, and if there would be more demand. There would be more supply. And these are heinous offenses, absolute heinous offenses, where there is child sexually abuse material or exploitative material which is there which has been utilized and it can have a borderline psychological impact on person who's watching or he's affected or even for kids whose this kind these kind of materials are being out in public so that denial part or the the aspect that all of us accept that this these these content are not good they are considered to be illegal is absolutely uh, i think there's no doubt on that but the second layer that comes is if i have that with me that means there's an intent that either I'm watching it, I'm enjoying it, or I'm going to share it. And that itself should be punished because, because we're talking about something very sensitive when it comes to our society. And if we don't take strict action right now, this will still infiltrate and this will continue to happen despite having laws in place. That's where we have to bring a stop that whether you download, you create, you watch, you share, everything is punishable when it comes to uh, uh, CSAM or CSEM uh, uh, kind of material. And I think that's a, that's, a, that's a move which was which is welcome and that understanding. I was shocked with the Madras High Court. Only to an aspect uh, uh, which I can bring in over here is, see, we are living in a technology age and we have systems in place where, let's say, for example, I have a WhatsApp. And there are a lot of data which by default gets downloaded and we are part of a lot of groups. So if some material gets downloaded and stays in my phone, that itself per se should not have it. But if I have a knowledge that that is downloaded and I have not complained or reported that that crime has happened from this group and it has come from this group is where uh, the, the question should arise, but not the part where something has been downloaded. Because we are in that age where we are in infodemic age and information is sharing everywhere and things can be downloaded on your phone without your knowledge or intention for that matter. So I think that's where we draw that thin line or I have that uh, that aspect that one can have a leeway. But otherwise, I think all of us should stand together against fighting against this this kind of crimes happening, uh, not for just uh, uh, looking into the uh, looking into the seriousness of it, but also to understand that this has ramifications which is beyond our imaginations. Right, uh, Kushbu, also the Supreme Court. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like to add one thing, that right. uh, the Supreme Court has actually laid down today that intention is immaterial, uh, on one. And uh, the second thing that the Supreme Court has laid down is that there is a framework of action that the police really does not know that uh, who is uh, storing what by mistake. This is the framework where the government is actually receiving intelligence, which is actionable in terms of IP addresses of the people who are uh, actively searching for uh, this material online and then downloading. And for them, uh, there is no question that uh, whether there was an intention, and they have broken it down into three parts, they have said that uh, intention itself is sufficient. So as long as you have the material, you are not uh, uh, reporting it uh, to the concerned authorities, uh, you should be uh, uh, treated as being guilty. Right, uh, knowingly watching uh, child pornography over the internet without downloading amounts to possession under the POXO Act. Uh, Kushbu, uh, the Supreme Court today has gone on to say, which uh, uh, you know, Bhuvan also pointed out, uh, that the term child pornography should not be used in any judicial order or judgment. And instead, the term child sexual exploitative and abuse material should be endorsed. Take us uh, through the difference. See, uh, when you talk about child pornography, uh, 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 that uses uh, 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 the aspect that uh, it's it's absolutely not a pornography. It's an exploitative abuse because when you're using children, uh, it can be rape. It can be it can be uh, uh, it's it's it. You there has to be a demarcation when it comes to pornography. Pornography is still uh, uh, you know when it comes to legal or illegal part of it. But when you talk about anything happening with the child, which is something like that, that's practically sexually exploitative by just giving the terminology pornography you can't have that aspect that child pornography is illegal whether you know child pornography is legal or illegal that part but just 
understanding that anything to do with the children which has something to do with sexually exploitative it has to be not considered as pornography but it has to be termed as child pornography child uh, uh, sexually exploitative abuse material it's a exploitative abuse material because anything that is linked with child over there is an abuse over there it's an exploitative abuse so to stop using that word but to use c s e a m that is child sexually exploitative abuse material is the word that has to be utilized from now on rather than child pornography in any of the places including your poxo act or it it act and laws and rules there under right uh, and the supreme court has uh, gone on to say that uh, they are suggesting to the parliament to bring an amendment when it comes to the poxo act so that uh, child pornography can be referred to as child sexual abusive and exploitative material we have also suggested an ordinance that can be brought in is what was said in the supreme court thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast